Hi there, Kevin Walls here at BCIT. We are now going to talk about loaded voltage dividers. Voltage dividers, as we talked about earlier, are really just measuring the voltage in a series circuit. So a loaded voltage divider is basically something that we can obtain a different voltage from the source voltage. So for instance here, the source voltage is 240 in this circuit. And let's say I had a piece of equipment or a load that was rated at 100 volts and 50 ohms, right? I'm thinking I would like to find somewhere where I can apply 100 volts to that. And I look here, I've got 240, but down here I see 100 volts. So if I put something in parallel with a resistor that has 100 volts across it, then according to what we know about parallel circuits, it should have 100 volts, shouldn't it? So let's try. This is my load. And I want to put it in parallel with this resistor that has 100 volts across it. So this is our load. Now, this is it, it's equal to 50 ohms. Well, as you probably have already figured out, you being the smart electricians you are, you realize that what I have here now is 50 ohms in parallel with 50 ohms. And what is 50 ohms in parallel with 50 ohms? Well, you can probably do the calculation, but I can tell you it's going to be 25 ohms. So I can basically say, eliminate those two loads, and the equivalent resistance would be 25 ohms. So I've replaced both of those with a 25 ohm resistor. Well, that completely changes my circuit, doesn't it? All these calculations are probably, they're out the window now, aren't they not? So let's figure out what the current will be now. So the total resistance, RT, is equal to 20 ohms plus 40 ohms plus 10 ohms plus, not 50 anymore, 25 which is 60, 70, 95 ohms. The voltage is still the same, but what's going to change? Well, the current is going to change, obviously. So I, T equals ET over RT, which is 240 over 95, which comes out to this is my calculator guy. Where is he? Let's figure it out. Is that home set? <laughs> yeah. 240 divided by 95 equals 2.53 rounded out. Okay? So this is not 2 amps anymore. This is 2.53 amps. My circuit has changed because I added this load in parallel with this resistor. So, there's my total current coming down here, right? 2.53 amps. When it gets here, it goes through there. It go, well, I go back to the original. Instead of the, this here, let's go back and look at what we had when we hooked up the load. Right? We have this resistor, and we have the load resistor, 50 ohms. Well, if the current gets to this point here, it's going to split equally, isn't it? Between two 50 ohm resistors, it will split equally. It's 2.53 amps, therefore, exactly half of that current will go through the load, which would be, do it in your head, 1.26. Correct? Close enough. 1.26 amps is now going to go through here. 1.26 amps will also go through here. Right? 
1.26 amps and 50 ohms gives us how much voltage? Let's check it out. 63 volts. Not exactly what we were looking for, is it? It's not 100 volts, it's 63 volts now. Not what I wanted. So, the whole idea of hooking something up to something else in parallel and hoping for a certain voltage does not necessarily work. So generally what we do, let's get rid of these numbers, we're not going to use this load because it's not very good doesn't work for this load, right? But it would work for a load such as this. Now, that's a much higher resistance, isn't it? 50 kilo ohms, 50 ohms. 50 kilo ohms is a lot bigger than 50 ohms. In fact, a thousand times bigger. 50 kilo ohms, a very high resistance. We call that a very small load because it draws a very small current. What is 50k in parallel with 50 ohms? Well, I'd like you to do it on your calculator. I'll do it. 5, 0, 0, 0, 0. 5, 0, 0, 0. Inverse plus 5, 0. Inverse equals inverse. And I get this in parallel with that, if I were to put the equivalent resistance down here, I'll put it here just for, that's my equivalent resistance, would be 49.95 ohms. That's very close to the original, isn't it? It's very, very close. Because this is a lot larger than this that I put it in parallel with. So this draws very, very little current. Most of the current still goes through here, so I would have very close, very, very close to, I would have approximately 100 volts across here. Not exactly, but very, very close. There you go, that's how we use, use a loaded voltage divider. <laughs>